Morning folks. So this morning, I just want to talk to you about uh, my very first dirty tank that you can see right here. Okay. And the challenges that I've had um, from the get-go. Uh, get, just, you know, getting the tank up and running and started. So I followed the father fish method. Um, I actually bought the father fish substrate, you know, the dirted substrate with all the minerals and whatever you have it in it. And then, as you can see, I've capped it off with white sand, and then on top of the white sand, I put black sand. So there's about three, four inches of substrate in here. And then I put plants in here, and after that, um, I just kept checking the water, and I waited a few days. Now, I set this tank up two weeks ago, so it's two weeks old. And I put some plants in there, and uh, a week, week or so ago, I put a couple guppies in there. They didn't make it. Found my water parameters were way out of whack. Had ammonia, had nitrite, had nitrate, and Finally now, my tank is settling in. Um, I've got a shrimp in there. Um, and just recently, here a few days ago, I bought, I know people will just like, probably judge me for this, but I bought some feeder fish. They were red minnows or orange minnows or whatever they call them. But I bought them just to put them in there because I didn't want to spend a bunch of money on some high dollar guppies and then put them in there and they die. I want to make sure the, the water is, is good. So they've been in here now for two, three days and they're doing fine. So that's a good sign. So and my water still has got a little bit of stuff. It's not fully cycled yet, but it is good enough for the fish are living, the shrimp are surviving and everything. So we're good there. Um, that was my biggest struggle is, you know, being patient to get the uh, water parameters ready. Now, I know, you know, if you watch Father Fish videos, he says, put a ton of plants in there. Well, I didn't have a ton of plants to put in there. I wish I did, but I didn't. And he was saying, like, the next day, put a couple of fish in there and, you know, you should be fine. Well, it didn't work out for me uh, like that, um, but that's okay, you know, it's... This is a learning process. It's my first dirty tank, and I'm loving it, I'll be honest with you. And my water is good and clear. Um, I think, for me, um, in the future, if I redo one of my tanks, I'm probably going to go to another dirty tank, because I do like it. Anyhow, let's uh, switch the camera view around, and we'll just take a look at the tank, and we'll go from there. Thank you. So this is my, it's a 20 gallon uh, tall and it is a fully dirty tank. As you can see, the try to get out of the light there and you can see my substrate. Um, Patty is aquatic, or excuse me, subs aquatic, stubs aquatic, if I get that out. He calls it my Oreo cookie tank because of the, the way the substrate looks like an Oreo cookie, but that's cool. But all in all, I mean, this tank is really looking good. I only have sponge filters in here. Um, I do have a heater in here, um, but only sponge filters and just plants and some shrimp. And as you can see, these feeder fish, they are doing fine in here. And I do have shrimp. And I noticed this morning up in one of the floating plants right here, if you zoom in, one of my shrimp molted because there's a skin there so that means they must be doing fine but um, I have a bunch of guppy grass in here I have some stem plants in here I have some rooted plants in here um, I have a another rooted plant here now this uh, octopus plant that came out of my 125 it grew so fast I cut a piece of it off and threw it up in here to uh, help absorb, you know, the nitrates that I was having problems with. 
eventually I'm going to pull this the octopus out of here and I'm going to put it in my 75 gallon that's newly set up as well and planted um, so we'll we'll do that too but I do have two pieces of uh, uh, what do you call it uh, dragonstone in here I just moved one the other day I didn't like the way I had them set so I put one on top of each other I added some more guppy grass in here uh, the other day I got some more from LRB Aquatics and um, I really like the guppy grass it's good for the the baby fish my shrimp love it so and it's it's pretty good but all in all the struggle like I say that I had with this tank it, it was kind of frustrating because my water parameters were kind of out of whack but that's to be expected with a brand new tank and like I say I've never had a dirted tank so the dirt contains all these nutrients so the plants are here to absorb those nutrients and you know patience is the key and uh, <laughs> sometimes I don't have patience but anyway I just wanted to talk about the little bit of struggles but I'm really happy with this tank now it's really good um, eventually I'm going to pull these speeder fish out of here and I'm just going to it's going to be a guppy tank and I'm going to end up with uh, putting guppies in here um, that may happen here in the next week or so uh, I'm just letting these feeders run around in here and make sure everything's good to go and like I say uh, I do like the tank I like the idea of a dirty tank I'm impressed with how it works and the lower maintenance that it is you know I don't need a big heavy duty filter and all that stuff and I think this is going to turn out really well I really do and I do have some more plants that are in the mail coming that will go into this tank as well and we'll just give it time and let it rip anyway I hope you like subscribe share the video you know, talk to your friends about it, and we hope you have a, a great week, and uh, thank you all for watching. All right, bye-bye.